Hello everyone. So a couple of days back, in fact on Friday last week, I gave a talk on uh, Jira and uh, Scriptrunner. Now this talk was for uh, one of the ACE events for I believe North Virginia and uh, Washington area. So I did this talk in the evening, my time in UK and the talk was basically all about uh, Scriptrunner. What I will be doing, I will be also sharing uh, the uh the the content obviously i'll do the talk again on my ch channel of course so the talk was all about uh, my experience i just shared my experience of using a uh, script runner how i started using it how i have been using it uh, I, I shared some tips tricks and uh, i gave some ideas on how you can also get started with the uh, script runner for jira now, in this particular talk, the main thing that I wanted to share was basically one specific use case of using a script runner. And by the way, you can use a script runner for doing a lot of wonderful things like, uh, you know, of course, automate, uh, automating your Jira instance, filling in the gaps of uh, Jira's uh, configurations because Jira can do a lot of things, but not each and everything. And that is where uh, an app like script runner can be used to fill in those gaps. Now, uh, I presented one uh, use case or I basically talked about one use case of using a script now for sending and sending a daily email. Now I work with a lot of clients where uh, they want to know what is happening or what has happened today. And there are people who spend a lot of time, maybe half an hour, one hour every day to send an email to stakeholders. And that email content is of course uh, a mix of both normal commentary like you know someone or they basically write something but at the same time uh, there is a lot of information coming from <clears throat> jira for example how many major bugs were uh, resolved or how many critical items were there in jira how many escalations were there what is our what, what is our sprint progress how many issues we resolved um, and something similar so basically stakeholders they don't really want to always know or they don't really want to care about uh, pie chart. They don't really want to know those uh, uh, detailed things in Jira. Of course, it is possible, but end of the day, they just want to see that email with like the updates for that particular day. And uh, those updates could be, you know, just numbers or shows or some some KPIs. Now, what I have done in the past, and which I also presented in this particular uh, talk. I basically uh, shared how Scriptner can be used to generate this email and uh, also using a markup builder. We can also make that email, uh, email look a bit more uh, uh, beautiful. So using Scriptner for Jira, you can always uh, create a schedule job where uh, you can set this email to be sent out every day, five o'clock. And the content of the email could be uh, some some numbers, some calculations that you can do based on Jira issues. So you can always uh, in your code uh, mention what filters you want to uh, use for uh, uh, defining the scope of your email. So your email could have uh, some tables showing list of issues. Not only you can do that simply by, you know, fetching the issues and presenting them in a nice table, because you can do, of course, something similar using issue or using the filter subscription but the main advantage of using a, a script is that you can you can actually uh, manipulate or you can do a lot of customizations and uh, those customizations could be to uh, let us say look at your uh, issues comments and then look for specific keywords and though and those keywords can be of course picked up and presented and uh, sent out to your stakeholders you can also do some calculations like uh, how to calculate like maybe to present uh, lead time or cycle time because stakeholders want to know what is our lead time or cycle time or uh, w w whether we have met our SLA something similar at the same time you can also uh, consolidate things when you're sending an email because in Jira you have a lot of labels you have a lot of statuses now each and every label each and every status might not make sense uh, or maybe it is a bit more detailed information for stakeholders and those stakeholders they just want to know okay how many items are open how many items are 
closed. Now, open items in Jira could be all the issues that are in open state or maybe in progress state or maybe on hold state or maybe uh, they are being tested, but they are still open, right? They are not resolved. So either you resolve the issues or you don't resolve the issues. So you can actually consolidate those things easily when you're writing your own script. And uh, there are some apps that can do something similar, like send an email, like of course, you know, EasyBI can also do that. EasyBI is great, but EasyBI will send an email with the snapshot or a PDF file of that particular dashboard. But end of the day, it is uh, not really like a customized view or customized email because in that email you want to, of course, you know, your, your, your email should look like an email. And the good thing is that you can actually write code to uh, send out, not only send out that, send send send, the, send that email, but at the same time, pick things from Jira, manipulate it if you have to, and then uh, it will, of course, give you this ability to just sit and relax and make sure things are updated in Jira and then the email will be sent out automatically every day. So this is something that I think uh, uh, it can be done very easily in, in Jira using a script now for Jira, which I have done a lot in the past. And what I will do is I will not really just uh, uh, read the talk on my channel, but I will also make a couple of more videos uh, where I will present the actual code so that you can also, you know, take some ideas and uh, maybe use something similar. And by the way, in case you don't know, I of course uh, provide Atlassian consultancy in case you want to uh, make Jira work for you in case you're looking for uh, uh, some kind of consultation on uh, script over Jira or EVBI, you can always reach out to me and uh, I can definitely help you. So I thought I'll probably mention it uh, very quickly. All right, so that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. By the way, in case you want me to speak at your event, please invite me. It need not to be an ACE event. It could be any event. By the way, I do free workshops in uh, colleges, only in colleges, not really, in, of course, in organizations. But if you want to invite me for your, maybe if you want to speak at your event, I would love to because I think it's a very good opportunity. I can improve. Uh, it will give me an opportunity to share whatever I'm doing. And, and, and at the same time, I think whenever I speak at an event, I also learn quite a lot. It is something that I do, I like to do because it gives me I mean, I like to challenge myself, you know, when you speak in front of a lot of people, live people, it is always, uh, you know, difficult. And making a video, to be honest, is very simple because, you know, you're not, really, you're not really asking many questions and it is just my camera and my computer. But in case you want me to uh, speak, at, speak at your event, please reach out to me. You can reach out to me on my website. Uh, you can reach out to me on my website, ravisaga.in, where you can fill up a small form. So there is a button here called contact me. In case you need professional help, you can uh, click on this contact us button on the on the website sparksys.com or you can always uh, add me on LinkedIn because I'm quite responsive. But please always, uh, if you are looking for my help, in case you need my support, please uh, raise uh, a ticket for me. That will give me an opportunity to give you a prioritized response. And by the way, um, and I receive a lot of inquiries. I'll, I mean, that is really good, great, by the way. But uh, in case you want to join my membership program, I will um, give you from like a couple of benefits. Number one benefit is that you will get my future books for free. And yes, I, I've been saying that for a long time, but yes, I'm writing you know, a few books. And uh, you will get all the books for free if you're an active member. Um, but um, you will also get my prior priority reply. It is not a support that I'm giving you. It's not a paid support because we do have a paid support uh, service. But this membership program, which is £2.99 per month, will uh, give you the opportunity to reach out to me and uh, I will definitely respond to you. Because I mean, on priority. I mean, I try to respond to everyone, but this is like a priority response. But at the same time, uh, this membership program is just uh, a way for you to you know support me in case you want to appreciate I, I know you appreciate my my content but it, it is basically just a way for you to you know say thank you to me but uh, I, th I think there are some benefits which you should definitely take a look at and uh, that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye